What's going on YouTube? It's Rock from Rock Shop. If you don't know who I am, I am a reseller. I sell on eBay, Amazon, um, just about any any website um, that you can resell on, like Let Go, Facebook Market. Um, uh, there's a bunch of them. But anyway, we're gonna get into this video. I'm gonna show you about. I I sold about 41 items on eBay. I did sell something on Amazon. Um, I sold something on Mercari and I believe I did sell something on Poshmark so 41 2 3 about 40 44 items since Friday so I'm going to show you a few of the items that I sold here's one this is a sweater that I picked up I'm not sure what I picked it up for it is let me see I'm going to show you the tag Joseph and Lyman it's a uh, hundred percent pure cashmere um, I got a little under twenty dollars for it. It's not a real high-end brand. Um, you want to find like Polo or Mani types of brands like that when it comes to cashmere. But I took an offer for eighteen dollars. I rather have flipped it. I think I got it at the good at the Goodwill bins, which is the the weigh and pay. You just pay by the pound. So it it didn't even weigh a pound. So I didn't even pay a dollar for it. So I just took the offer and got rid of it. I believe I got this at the Goodwill bins too. This is Ted. Ted Baker's a good. It's a good brand, but it doesn't sell for anything. I, I got 25 bucks for it. I moved it. It's gone. Um, nothing special about it. It's just a just a just probably a suit jacket. Um, I'm surprised about this Chaps. I know I haven't. I just picked a new one up. Um, in case you're wondering what I used to do my picture like that with, I used Photo Grid. I believe I showed you guys before. I'm just letting you know, just in case somebody's watching right now that didn't hear it last time so just a regular whenever you see the gold buttons like that don't just pick up anything you see with gold buttons the chaps is a really low-end brand I mean they're probably not even a hundred dollars new so this was an older one it is what it is um, I'm getting lazy too I'm not even really pinning them up anymore I just kinda threw it on there um, I got some scrubs I believe from someone they were free. They were nurse scrub. This one was cute. Had butterflies on it, or dragonflies. The lady was buying them for her mother, and I just gave it to her for nine dollars. I didn't pay anything for it. Um, I did sell a couple of them already. I think I had about maybe like fifteen of them. So I mean, fifteen scrubs. I didn't pay for them. So I'm just taking offers and just kind of moving them and make a couple dollars here and there. This is another low-end brand. It's called Michael York. I think I got this. The only reason why I picked it up because I like the herringbone design. I thought it was going to sell for a little bit more. Excuse me. I just took it's from Bonton, so you know that it's not a high-end brand. It's not really worth anything. I never picked this brand up, but um, I took an offer for like nine dollars and just kind of moved it. Doesn't weigh. Ties only weigh two ounces. They're very light. Um, here's another cash. Cashmere is good if you can find it in the right brand. Andrea Vaccaro, is that is that what it is? Something like that. It's Andrea Vaccaro. It's just a not a very high end brand. Just it is what it is. I got thirteen dollars for it. I moved it. It's gone. I probably got it at the bins. Um, I got this Dragon Ball shirt from somewhere. Also, not really sure thought it was cool I, I thought I would get a little bit more more than that than what I got but sold it it's gone peace out um my computer's running really slow let me close a couple of these other windows I should have left the Amazon one on I wanted to show you um here's another one apartment nine I'm trying to stay away from these cheap brands I probably didn't pay nothing for it it was probably like a dollar or something that's the only reason why I, I took an offer on it, I believe. I think it was like $28. So I got rid of it. Cost seven bucks to ship. Um, let's see. These have been sitting for a while. Golf shoes are going to start selling right now. It is, it is almost March. What's the date today? Today is the 23rd. It is February 23rd, 2020. These are in pretty good condition. That's why I picked them up. I don't remember what I paid for them. I probably got these at the bins. Shoes are like $3. So I think I took an offer on those. Um, they sold for, let me see, 30 bucks. 
sixteen dollars I took an offer so three dollars in the in the sixteen it's not bad here's another kind of low-end brand lady lady Hagen 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 at first all right um I guess it's lady Hagen it's just called, whenever you see these this design like this these uh the diamond shapes like that it's called Argyle so that's good to put that in your put that in your title I guess it's like a golf cardigan. I don't know if it did it have pockets on it. No pockets, just a cardigan. Short sleeve. That's like a like a three quarter sleeve, something like that. But nothing real high end. It was fifty dollars new. So you know it's not it's not worth the the resale value is not not great. Sold a lot of cashmere this weekend. I don't know why. Winter's just not. You know, it doesn't seem to be coming this year. I don't know what's going on. Valerie Stevens is not a bad brand, but it's not a great brand. This was a sleeveless. I probably got this at the bins, too. I can't see picking this up anywhere else. Two-ply cashmere. I'm just kind of getting rid of it. I'm kind of getting tired of picking up women's clothing. It's very boring to me. It's just, if you have to do what, what excites you and what, what you have passion in. And I just don't have passion in it, so I, I really don't like picking it up. There it is. Let's see what we got. We got we got an offer. Is that a jacket? What do you what do you say we should take it? Should we take it? Let's see. I have to Let's see. We got a 4528. Maybe I should just move it. No, I think we should counter offer on that for 40. How's that? It's a nice Tom James. Tom James is not a very good brand either. Depends on what it is, but this is a really this is a really interesting jacket. Let's see if we can show you. It's a Tom James. Can you see that? Can you see that? Not too bad. Let's see if we can sh if you can see the design. It's like a houndstooth houndstooth plaid. It's not too shabby. It's a nice jacket. It deserves more than twenty-eight dollars, I think. All right, so so Joseph A. Bank. I guess it's it's abbreviated. I'm 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 a, I know it's Joseph A. Bank. That's how you pronounce it. This is a signature. This is like not a really really low end Joseph A. Bank, but not a high end one either. It was cuffed and pleated which is not popular right now but is still sellable you can still sell it not too bad kinda like not a khaki but like a like a tan maybe khaki I don't know did I put khaki in the title no I just put tan beige probably not so much a beige color but I got a few bucks for it a few buckaroos I got 42 all together 30 plus shipping paid 12 for shipping I shipped it for about seven. Here's another brand. It's not a bad brand. It's, it's John Malloy. Some of them were selling for a pretty decent amount. I didn't get that much for this one. I believe I got this at a church sale. And I probably didn't pay that much for it. I can't see paying more than $5. So I just took an offer on it and moved it. I'm just kind of trying to get rid of women's clothing anyway all the the things that I've picked up are just they're just not worth my time anymore you have to you have to um you have to really kind of figure out what is what is wasting your time and what you're putting your because your time is very valuable and if you're not making money with your time then you're wasting your time so you have to decide what you want to do, what what your niche is going to be. If you want, I kind of dabble in everything from electronics to you know, and it's kind of overwhelming. I really don't like doing that, but sometimes your electronics. I haven't sold any electronics. I just thought about that. I sold these CDs today. Um, these are these are vintage. These are old CDs. So I picked up a a box of them. And the box wasn't selling, so I was like, let me lot them up. So I lotted them in like three sets of five, and then this was the last set of three. So I definitely made money off of those. 
some of the older seed pick them up when they're new and they're sealed don't buy CDs if they're open because you don't know if they were burned on if they were used um I thought I was gonna get more for this too I always do I can't believe I took an offer on that for $18 I don't know what I was thinking if I would have sat out sat that out a little bit longer this jacket was is immaculate too immaculate just not a high not not a very sought after team if it would have been like Tar Heels or the Chicago Bulls or something like you know something more popular like Chicago White Sox or Raiders if it would have been a Raiders starter it would have been worth bank but just wasn't a very pod there wasn't that many listed the ones that were selling were not really selling for that much I, I think I picked it up really cheap and that's why I got it so briefcases are not a bad idea to sell I mean I have a brand new one that didn't is the last one to sell I have one more and I have like a doctor bag like not a doctor bag but maybe like a uh like a laptop bag something like that but this was what was this this was heritage it's not a great brand but it was in really good shape that's why i picked it up i think i paid five dollars for this last year at a yard sale and it finally sold i took an offer on it um i don't think it sold for 45 i see what they paid they paid like 15 dollars to ship it it sold let's see what did it sell for I got fifty seven dollars for it total he paid paid the forty for it now I put it on sale and it sold and it's been on sale a million times like you can run really high sales and it doesn't matter like I'll run a fifty percent sale and I'll do really well I'll do a fifty percent sale and I'll do horrible I, I mean it just depends on the timing I don't know I I usually do a 30% sale I run a, a sale on um, we can do another video about that another time if anybody would like me to just ask and I will I sold another pair of the Brooks Ghost 10 um, I did a really good job of photographing them it's easy to photograph something when it's in great condition it's just that's just the way it is even with when I put suits on dress forms, when the suit is a really good size and it looks really good on the dress form, it's going to sell because of the visual effect. Um, photos are everything. I tried to tell my my other half that in the very beginning, and she was like, "No, it doesn't matter. Your pictures don't matter," and she didn't listen to me. Other people are not going to be where you're at when you do this. They're going to doubt you. They're going to tell you that you're not good at it. They're going to tell you that you shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. Those are not the people that you should be listening to. You should be listening to people like me and people that know what they're doing and know what they're talking about, that have been there. I've been doing it for three years, so I have some sort of knowledge to share. So... But anyway, Brooks is a really good brand. They're like a running, hiking, um, running, trail running type of shoe, I guess. And they do really well. And I picked three pairs up. They were $3 a pair. So they were all the same pair. They were all the same size. I have no idea why. But they were all used, too. But very gently used. I cleaned them up, and they were just like good as new. I mean, look at them. They look, they look fantastic. They look really good. Even the bottoms were like. I, I touched them up a little bit in here and, you know, in the middle of towards the heel, but they were barely worn. They may have been worn maybe a couple times. I don't know why there was three pairs, and I don't really care. I, I think I said that before, like, you know, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't care. You know, all that matters is that I found them and picked them up. It was an excellent score, and I did really well. Um... This was another brand. I just took an offer on it. I believe I picked this up really cheap. It's not a good brand. Um, but it was 100% silk. There we go. Hugo Biscotti. 100% um, silk. It sold pretty fast. It sold in like two weeks. That's fast for clothing. You know, nothing special about it. Just a blazer. little. I think it was a, was it a three button or whatever um, I've had this Steve Madden 
I don't remember, I don't even remember where I got this from. I've had it for a while and it was sitting and it wasn't listed. Sometimes your listings will get erased by accident. I mean, I probably have so much stuff sitting down in this basement that's not even listed. I've been catching it on and off. It's just really hard to do inventory when you have like 2,500 items and you're doing it alone. So I do this by myself. I have no help. So I run my, my business and my store alone. I have help once in a while, but 99% of the time it's all me. So <clears throat> I know I'm, I'm rambling on, but I'm venting. We're venting together. Um, it was a Steve Madden, not a bad brand, you know, not a super high-end brand, but um, what I did with this one was that I, I stuffed it with, um, good idea to stuff your purses, I used, I used bubble, I used, um, not bubble, bubble wrap, but, um, like bubbles, like, you know what I mean, like, um, they come in packaging, they were, they were square bubbles, big bubble wrap. So I just stuffed the purse and it, it formed it and I was just kind of throwing my purses on the table like maybe putting a little bit of newspaper in them but you got to really form them out and make them look really good and that's what was going on with this that's why I got a lot of lookers I don't think it was because of the brand I think it was just because of the visual so but it's it sold I took an offer um Finally got rid of it. I know I didn't pay that much for it. I probably got it at the bins. I probably pulled it out of a bin at the Goodwill. Um, I got $20. They paid $10 to ship. So uh, I probably only paid $2 for it at the bins. This was a really cool IZOD. IZOD's not a very high-end brand necessarily to pick up. I wouldn't recommend picking up IZOD unless it's an older. The older polos do go for good money. Um, you'll know they're old because of the size. I'm, I think the newer ones have the European size on them also, or UK or whatever. The, I th maybe it's UK. I think UK is lower numbers and European would be higher. So a European number would be like a 38 or a 39, 42. And UK is like low, like seven, eight, like kind of like R's, R sizes, uh, US sizes. R size, US, you know, I don't want to sound like, you know. Um, let me get a good visual. There's the material. This is a window pane. Um, this is like a double window pane. It's a herringbone. Whenever you see that going up and down like that, that's herringbone. Um, reminds me of them old herringbone chains we used to wear in the 90s, the gold and the silver. Um, Tupac had a big old herringbone gold chain. But, um, that's the design. I believe it was another... It was like another of those IZOD Classic, 100% wool. Just a really cool jacket. That's probably why I picked it up. Conference Classics, probably from the 80s. 80s are like early 90s. You know, nothing crazy, but not too bad. So the 20, wow, this stuff all pretty much went out today. Zegna. Armenegildo Zenya, I think it's Armena, Armenegildo Zenya, people say Zegna, Zenya, I think it's Zenya, because it's Italian, and then, you know, that's just how we get down, you know, forget about it, but, um, anytime you see the, the Zenya Trofeo, the Trofeo is, is a really, really high end, um, I think I sold this for 50 50 bucks. I think it's a suit jacket, three button. Let me see. I'm kind of losing you guys here. I'm I'm kind of lost in the in the mouse. Um let's see. Blah 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 blah. No, see there's the the European size. Now you would minus that 56, it would be a 46. There should be a drop in it too. The drop has something to do with the waist size. I'm I'm not sure about that I know that's what it is but I don't know enough about it okay so we got to access by Claiborne that's nothing special here's another vintage I like to pick up vintage items but I don't seem to get that much for a lot of them I took a lot of offers this weekend I was really really trying to move inventory that's this is just a, a sport coat 
I think this is a blazer. Whenever you see the gold button, silver button, the metal buttons is a blazer. Um, it might be a sport coat too because it usually when they're heavier, they're considered a sport coat. You can always tell when it's a suit jacket. It's usually really, really thin material and you just know, especially when it's striped. Whenever you see a striped jacket by itself, don't pick it up because it's a suit jacket. And nobody wants a striped jacket without the pants. So you can get away with some plaid and things like that in a suit jacket because people will still buy them as long as they're not striped. Um, Stanley Black, you know that's a really old Stanley. Stanley Blacker is a really good, I wish I knew a little bit more about some of these companies and these brands. I would share some knowledge, but I don't really know too much about some of the brands. I know Stanley Blacker is a really old brand. It's been around for a while. This is an old jacket. It was really cool. I, I probably didn't pay that much for it. That's so why I picked it up. A lot of the jackets that I have are been sitting for a long time because in the beginning I picked up a lot of crap. A lot of junk that is just, you have to do your research or you're going to end up with a lot of crap like me. You're going to make mistakes. It's just a part of the process. Um, I thought this was really cool. This is RCA Records. Um, I'm not sure who bought it. I remember the dog and the, um, and the what's that called? Is that a mega? not a megaphone, but... I'm not sure what that's called. It's like the it's the record player with the with the piece on. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, it's a really it was a pretty cool sweater. It was all acrylic, I believe. No, it's cotton. It was actually cotton. Made in USA. Is made by Pickering, Kimberton Company. Made in USA. It sat for a really long time. I just was so I was just glad to get rid of it. And the person that bought it was glad to buy it. They were glad to be getting it. So. It was a win-win situation. We all win. Um, I'll sh maybe show you a couple more things. I thought I was going to actually keep this polo. This was a really cool polo. A nice, nice weight to it. Got a red pony. It was 100% cotton. Really soft cotton. Almost like Pima. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, probably shouldn't be drinking soda while I'm doing a... It's diet soda. Um, it's got a cool, got the red pony striped Freddy Krueger style. I thought it was really cool. I used the, um, you can use other apps, but I just use the, the, um, I just use the eBay, um, when I'm listing, I use the listing tool to, to get my background white. That's why the background is really white. Um, because a lot of times, especially when I, when I photograph things that are, that are blue, like navy blue, you'll get that bad tint in the background. That's kind of hard to get rid of. Some colors just photograph better. I have a good camera. I mean, I have this the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. It's got five cameras on it. I mean, it's an excellent camera. It's the only reason why I got it was for the camera. Because I don't really do much else with my phone, but use it to make money. <laughs> Which is what everybody should be doing. Um, Let's do a couple more and we'll wrap this up so it's not real real long here's another one any anytime you see a chamois cloth that's what this is when um when you see this type of it almost looks like it's it has pilling in it but it's not let's try to get a close-up here's a come on there we are it almost looks like it's kind of heathered heathered is when it's like the color is kind of mixed in like like black and gray. Here you see like two colors kind of mixed in there. It's kind of heathered. It's called heathered, but this is what a chamois what this is what chamois cotton is. It's it's cotton, but it's like a it's a different type of cotton. Um and it kind of looks when you see it you'll it you'll think that it has pilling in it, but it's not pilling. It's just the material. Um so don't get confused with pilling and chamois chamois cloth, chamois cotton, chamois shirt, whatever, shimmy, 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 chimmy, chunga, whatever you want to call it. That was sitting forever, Eddie Bauer, camera wallet, we're not going to get into that. Um, I sold a pair of Miss Me jeans. They were not the, the blinged out ones, the ones with the big patch. They were just kind of plain, but they were at the bins and I didn't pay a lot for them so I was like you know what I'll pick them up they'll probably still sell 
There's the back of them. See, they don't have the big patch and the bling pockets. They were distressed. They were in perfect condition, no stains. So I picked them up, and I got 18 bucks for them. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Um, I think I got this at the bins too. J. Jill is another. It's another good brand. It's a decent brand. It's not a real, real expensive brand, but this was new with tags, and that's the reason. The only reason why I picked it up. I see it all the time. I think it's another brand that's kind of dying down. Um, but like I said, it was brand new. It's winter time. It's a cardigan, so I picked it up. Boom. And it sold. It took a couple weeks to sell, but I got almost twenty dollars for it. It was it was under a pound. It shipped. It was really light. It shipped cheap. Um, let's do a couple more. I was waiting for this to sell, and I did not get what I wanted for this. This was a really cool Obermeyer Nordic ski sweater. I believe I had this listed everywhere. I had it on Deep. Depop is another app that where you can sell a lot of vintage clothing. It's kind of it's not like Etsy, but Etsy, I know you can put, it's mainly for like vintage and handcrafted items. There we go. There's another one. All right. We'll, we'll check that out later. I'm going to show you this sweater, and I think we're going to, we're going to peace out. It's just a really cool sweater, and I wish I would have got a lot more for it, but $33. I think I took an offer. I do a lot of free shipping. I really regret it, but. When you do clothing and you do clothing that's where everyone is doing all these brands, you have to have some type of upper hand to sell your items. And when you do free shipping and one day shipping, you have fast and free. You get the um you'll get the stamp right there and it's just you get better better um results in search. So that's the only reason why I do it. I hate doing free shipping, but you know, I'm just I can't be stuck in limbo with free shipping. I, I think I'm just, just going to stay with it. And here's the brand that um, I think I showed you guys the other day what his name was. Let me see if I can find him real quick. He's always listing videos. Or not listing. Uploading. Okay. Can we find you? I can't remember his name, but He's the one that told me about Vince. There he is. Thrift Fever. His name is Thrift Fever. So go check him out. I hope things are selling because I really need them to sell. Um, Here we go. Here is what the tag. I'm going to show you what the tag looks like. Vince. It's just a plain tag, but it's a really high-end brand. You see all these little, they kind of look like, like pieces of hair everywhere. I believe this is, this is mohair. I think it's rabbit. Is that what this was? Yeah. No, it was alpaca. Okay, I'm sorry. There, it's actually camel, acrylic, alpaca, and wool. That's a heck of a mix. Um, they must have had to do the same thing I did. They had to turn their head to read the to read the the fabric label. Yeah, I messed up. Everybody makes mistakes. We're all human. Anyway, um, we'll check out of that and blah blah blah. Um, excuse the background, like I said, I tried to use my screen, but there was just too much glare and it sucks. So, I'm going to try to figure out a way to do the background, otherwise you're just going to see all my junk and it is what it is, oh well. Anyway, I hope you liked my video, I hope that you learned something from it and if you like this type of content, please like, um, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, check out my channel. And I'll try to upload a little bit more. Um, I'm going to, I wanted to do a haul video. I didn't get a chance to do a haul video. It was my nephew's birthday and we went to the bowling alley and I spent some time there today. It's Sunday. I needed a break anyway. Plus it was family. Family comes first and work can wait. It'll Work will still be here. If you do what I do, it's never going to leave. It'll always be there. You'll, as long as you have something to list, you'll always have work. So I do have some items to list. I do have some work to do. And I'm going to get to that. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.